Okay, so we have the remnants of the uh, Zoya jewels that I had on earlier, and as you can see, um, it is starting to chip, so I do need to remove it. And to do that, we are going to use the Zoya Remove Plus. And um, the thing about this bottle is, instead of just a regular cap um, that you would remove and then pour out or, or um, um, pour out of the top with a cotton ball, um, this you actually push down on and the product comes up. So uh, let's see. You have to, it locks, um, which is a good thing. So um, it's kind of like the uh, makeup remover bottles that you see in Sephora, kind of the same concept. So uh, you just want to push down. Did a couple times there. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see any product coming up. All right. Well, it's definitely wet now. So what I do is I just get a fair amount of the polish remover on the cotton ball and then let it sit for a second. And I haven't used it to remove this specific polish before. It is um, has some shimmer in it so it's a tad harder to remove than um, the cream polish I had to remove last time. But uh, you can see that it's coming off pretty well. It is an acetone polish um, or polish remover so it is effective. One thing I will say is that uh, the reason I was interested in this was because of the packaging. I was really intrigued by this type of dispenser because I figured it would result in less waste um, and less mess. So I, I do like the packaging. The, the pump mechanism isn't quite as sturdy as I would like. Um, I feel like... Um, I don't know, it just it just feels a little bit flimsier, I guess. Um, so that is one thing to take into account. But overall, I think um, the good thing is that you can you can purchase just refill, refill bottles, and those retail. I forget the exact cost, but you get you get a lot more product for your money with those. Um, yeah, so this is definitely taking a little bit more time than the cream polish did. But I think it, it's, it's definitely getting it. It's not causing too much trouble. I remember um, on one website, I don't know if it was Deborah Lippman or someone else, but they mentioned that if you do have a super glittery polish that you need to get off um, instead of just sort of, um, you know, wiping at it continuously. You can get a bit of cotton, um, perhaps take a cotton ball and, and separate it in half, and then saturate it with the nail polish remover and uh, wrap it on your finger and then get some foil and wrap it around on top and then leave that on for a couple minutes and that way the polish will have time to um, do its work and that way you're not spending as much time just um, rubbing at the polish. And this is a product that is supposed to be um, like a nail prep as well. Um, you can see on the bottle it says nail polish remover, nail cleaner, and nail prep. And it says color lock step one, which um, one would be this. So I guess even if you don't have any polish on your hands um, to begin with, the idea is that you would use this um, before you apply your nail polish. Um, so just to remove any residual oils that would prevent the nail polish from really sticking. Right here, I'll read it. It says... Uh, 
It's a mild acetone formula that moisturizes, nourishes, and helps to fortify the nail plate while re removing all traces of existing nail lacquer without stripping, streaking, or staining. Use as a nail plate cleaner and prep product prior to applying base coat to dramatically extend color wear. Right, so this would be step one, and then step two would be your base coat. Uh, step three would be your color. Step four would be the top coat, and then I think there is an optional step five that they, they do have some drying drops. Um, I don't have the top coat in front of me, but I believe it's supposed to be a fast drying formula. Um, probably not as, as fast drying as like Sesh Beat or um, some of the other ones, but um, those have some issues with um, bubbling and that sort of thing. So I have tried the, the full, um, I think they call it Anchor and Armor, are their base and top coat names. And I have tried those with this polish. Uh, previously I've had some issues with Zoya polish is not really lasting that long on me and I don't know if it's just the colors that I happen to choose or whether it's an actual issue with the formula and, and how it reacts to my you know personal skin chemistry or whatever. Um, so I, I did want to try their actual products to see if it helped any, if there was just something about the polish that um, made my, my normal. I think I was using the new bar, uh, whatever their, whatever their um, top coat is called, um, the new bar product, and then I was using, I think, CND Sticky. I'll grab them at the end of this video to show you, but anyway, since this um, polish did wear relatively well, I'm optimistic about their base and top coats. I think I want to try, I know the one color I remember chipping pretty badly after just a day or two of wear, um, I think I'll try with those anchor and armor polishes to see if it if it makes a difference and I'll, I'll update you all on that so we're pretty much done here just kind of going over all the polish all the nails again just to make sure there isn't any residual so you can see it, it performs pretty comparably I'd say to um, a normal nail polish remover. Um, the benefit being uh, some acetone formulas can be pretty drying. And this one, I mean, I feel like I do need to wash my hands and, and put some lotion on, but um, it's not quite as bad perhaps as, as it would be. And you can see all the shimmer I have on my finger. I do need to wash. <laughs> um, so yeah, so not quite as bad. Um, as a normal acetone remover, and of course if you're using pure acetone, that can just really sort of wreck your skin and your nails. Um, so yeah, there we have it, nice clean nails. All the polish is gone. So I think this retails for $10 on the Zoya website. Um, it is an 8 fluid ounce bottle, which is about what sort of your normal um, Q-Tex Q um, bottle um, size will be. The difference being that this, I think, retails for about $10 and a Q-Tex, Q-Tex, I can't say that today, um, nail polish remover will probably be about, say, $2, depending on whether you get the, the store brand or not. Um, I like this. I like the bottle, and I was always hesitant to try this. I know uh, Christine at Tintalia and Michelle at All Lacquered Up um, say this is their go-to nail polish remover. But I'd always been reluctant to try it because it was so expensive, I felt, for just a nail polish remover. But I do think it's worth it. Um, I. I did get this because 
Zoya had um, something on their Facebook page or, or Twitter said that any purchase you would get a free bottle of this. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And I do like the bottle. Um, you know, I probably could have just gotten a similar empty bottle at um, Target or something and filled it with normal nail polish remover. But I, I do think this is a nice way um, to dispense nail polish remover. It results in less potential for spilling. Um, you can even take like a cotton um, Q-tip and you can see the three holes where the nail polish would come up or the nail polish remover, I'm sorry. And so you could just get the tiniest bit, it's going to focus or not, um, the tiniest bit, see it's coming up there, um, on your Q-tip to, to go over any edges or, or whatever. Um, whereas before I would have to sort of pour a little bit um, into the, the lid of the nail polish remover bottle and um, sort of dip the Q-tip into that. So I feel like this is a, it results in a little less waste, it's a little cleaner. Um, by far the best thing about this is that my nails don't have that really awful nail polish remover smell or taste. <laughs> um, not that I would put my nails into my mouth just for fun or whatever, but um, I always would remove my nail polish right before I jumped in the shower so that the nail polish remover would just be kind of washed away. Um, because I don't know if you've ever removed your nail polish and then sort of flossed your teeth or whatever, but it's just very unpleasant um, and it kind of tends to stay on your nails even if you wash them or whatever. So this has no taste as a really nice um, lavender scent. So um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a fan of this. I do plan to repurchase it in the future and I would highly recommend it. So this is the Zoya 3-in-1 Formula Remove Plus. So hope you like it.